What's going on everybody? So today I've got a little bit of painting to do. It's nice enough outside. Might as well get it done. Um, I also want this painted and cured before putting the stealth back together. As I said in the last video, we're going to do stealth or the eyeball. Once again, let me know which one is your favorite. Uh, we obviously have not seen the complete product of the stealth one yet but that's what we're working on so this is our drive that came out of here this is our jasper motherboard so this is a phillips and light on drive i have a spare one here um now this one was working fine but in the vertical position the drive wouldn't really want to open and when it closes and the disc the disc spins you can hear a little bit of a noise in there so i'm going to take this apart make sure nothing's broken um revive our rubber band in there and make sure that's all good and then this one here you know if something's wrong with this one we can just swap the motherboards and i'm pretty sure this is a good working drive but anyway um first we got to remove our sticker whichever one you're, we are using which i guess it doesn't matter which one i paint whichever drive we decide to use we'll just put that case on there so this one i think i want to do the uh, color shift black that I've used on like the Tony Hawk Xbox and several other things the Grand Theft Auto one So I think I just want to do that just a solid black so when the system's off It's you know, it's got a window, but it's all blacked out and everything and then when it's on with our LEDs One you'll see the LED through it, but hopefully the different colors of the lights will reflect off of the different um, flakes so you'll see a bit of a color there. That should be cool. And then the other one we're doing at the same time. Um, this is a video I already filmed. I haven't uploaded it yet. I may or may not have before doing this video. But um, we're uploading this one. So this is our Slim. This is our Star Wars motherboard. And we're going to be putting that into partial clear, partial R2-D2 Star Wars case. And just kind of improving on the water cooled system we had in here before it'll be pretty much the same but we won't be using um the factory fan but i have another option for that and then i'll get to that video um soon enough but i'll explain what i'm going to do with the fans in this one but anyway our disk drive so this one will have the clear shell on this side there's no window but obviously you can see through the whole thing and right now um, and this is one thing I've said in the past where a lot of people will cut a window or put a clear shell on something and they don't really do anything else to the stuff on the inside. So you just see a silver disk drive. Nine times out of ten, any system, you're just going to see silver with the sticker on there, which I'm not a fan of. If you're going to see inside of it, I want the inside to look cool. So... Um, what we're going to do with this one is I ordered a sticker that's going to go over here, Star Wars related. Um, obviously this one won't have the disk drive that has the window on the top, which I should have somewhere. I don't know where I put that, but yeah, anyway, we had the one that was painted to match this, um, and I had the little SpongeBob sticker on there and then the XCM window cut in it. Um, we're not going to do a window in this one. Like I said, I'll have a sticker here, and then behind it, I kind of want to do like a galaxy effect. So I, if I have some left, I want to do just the matte primer over this whole thing, and then see if I can do kind of a splatter effect like I did on the Blood Splatter Xbox, but instead use either just white, like a gloss white, or um, I have the glow-in-the-dark paint, which looks mostly white. But I think that would be cool with all the lights we're going to have in here. You'll actually see the drops glow once the system's turned off or the lights are turned off. Um, and see if we can just do a lot of small splatter. So black with a bunch of white splatter to look like um, this, you know, galaxy, I guess. And then that'll be behind the sticker, Star Wars sticker I ordered. So this system will be see-through, white. I think I want to go with this radiator. Um, but anyway, I'll get to that, like I said, in the next part of the video specifically for the system. For now, uh, the disk drive. 
So we're going to figure out if we want to actually take the top shell off or just kind of mask around um, so that we only get paint on the top side. So that's what we're doing today, those two systems. Uh, let's get the shells off and the stickers off, the rest of this sticker residue, and get them ready for paint. Okay, I went ahead and just laid black primer onto both of them. And then this is the one we're going to do. Do the splatter effect. I think we'll use... I think I got some of this glow paint left. Um, hopefully this stuff has... Most of it's just... Yeah, it's all been out here since uh, our winter started. But so far that black went on just fine. So we're going to do this one on the other one. And like I said, I think we'll do the glow and try to do a splatter effect with that one. Alright, got our color shift laid down there, just one coat of it so far. I think it's already good enough. We'll probably put a clear over that. This one, I don't know, we'll see how it comes out. I gotta get my black light and actually see. Um, I did the splatter with the glow in the dark. And then I wanted to do a white, but I could not find it. I know I had one somewhere. So I used yellow, and it already had a broken nozzle, so it kind of sprays out in this mist. And so I just did that, and then went back over it with more of the glow-in-the-dark to hide some of the yellow. I don't know, we'll see how that one dries and turns out, and I'll get the black light and see if it glows good enough. Alright, got that high-gloss clear over it, which is like a triple-thick lacquer, I think it's called. I think with the, just the one coat's going to be good on this one. So I'll bring that in soon to cure overnight. This one, we're letting it dry out the rest of the way. You can see the glow-in-the-dark paint is still kind of wet there, so I don't want to put that over it yet. I was going to do matte over this, but I think the gloss will uh, make it look a little bit better. I tried the uh, black light on it. It's still a little too bright out here, but I think it should be sort of the effect I was going for. If not, I have another shell of these, plus I can just sand it down and do something else if I want to later, but we'll see how it turns out. Alright, there we are guys. I got the lacquer coat on both of these so far. So I'm going to let these cure, and then I'll be able to put them back together and make sure the drives work. Alright guys, so to finish up this video, finally got some packages in the mail. We got uh, the X-Wing sticker that's going to go right here. Obviously it'll just be the white part there, so you can see kind of my idea of having the galaxy behind it. And I didn't have high hopes for the technique I was using on here, but I think it looks fine. Uh, the only thing I would have added... I think I would have done a light dusting of the black color shift that we did on the other disk drive. Just to add a little bit of like a third dimension to it. But uh, I think that'll be a nice background to uh, this here. And if I want to, I could probably go back and just add a little layer. Just a light mist coat of the uh, color shift on top. But that's that. And then over here... This is the top half of our Stealth 360. So we have our window there already. That's where you're going to see this here. Darn cat hairs. Um, this is pretty much it's dry to the touch. Um, this triple thick lacquer coat. Um, it's really good to leave it for a few days before you try putting any pressure on it or anything. Or you'll just leave a little fingerprint in there. But um, I think I'm going to go back and use the just the gloss black bezel and eject button, just so it's all black. And last thing was this fan here. Um, I'm not a fan of using just plain black fans, but 
Um, this was the best one I can find for an 80 mil that was super slim. And as you know, this was the fan I used in the budget Xbox One S water-cooled build that would fit on the inside of the system. A regular 80 mil, you know, 20 or 25 millimeter thick fan wouldn't fit on the inside. But it came as a two-pack, so that's why I used the second one on this one. Plus, in this case, the fact that it's black is fine because the whole build is that way. But, just to finish it off, I got basically the same... Uh, fan shroud or grill or filter whatever you want to call it um that i put on the ps4 i got the 120 mil white one this is the same one it's just black and 80 mil and that is going to go over our fan just like that i think that would kind of be a nice final touch on the outside just to make it look nice and clean so yeah um now i have to one make sure this drive works so i'll be using one of my other backup 360s just to plug it in and make sure it opens and closes and spins fine. Then we can start putting this stealth build together and have that side by side with the Eyeball 360 finally for a great comparison of two Jasper motherboards, both water cooled just with uh, different equipment, a different kind of loop, and uh, same size tubing. But you know, 200 millimeter fan on the other one, slightly smaller radiator. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see. And then, eventually, I will get into this one. This is a personal build, so I don't mind taking my time on it. But I'll get this sticker on here, get it cleaned up, and we'll get this finished in another video. Thank you guys for watching.